Hey, I'm Nate Barr, creator of the Pocket Monkey, here today to tell you about my latest creation, Wildcard. The pocket knife needs to evolve. It's an essential tool, but it's bulky, it's one more thing to remember in the morning, and it easily falls out of your pocket and is lost. I wanted something better. I asked, why not put a pocket knife in my wallet? It'd be easier to carry and harder to lose. So I set out to design a knife that'd be as thin as possible, and the result is Wildcard. It's only two millimeters thick, only slightly thicker than a credit card. I was able to do this by reimagining the blade pivot. Most knives have a pin pressed through a hole. Wildcard has a pivot unlike anything in the world. I call it fly-off technology. The three wings of the pivot allow the knife blade to remain rigid to the body, a necessity when wielding a sharp tool. For safety, I designed the blade to lock open and to lock closed. The blade tucks neatly under two blade guards, and it angles only on one side, so users can't accidentally cut themselves when carrying a closed knife. And here's the best part about this design. The blade is detachable. I designed this with the forgetful traveler in mind. When you go through TSA with your traditional knife on you, you lose your knife. But with Wildcard, you only lose your blade. And on our website, you can replace it for only a few dollars. With Pocket Monkey, I used a monkey to represent the personality of the tool. With Wildcard, I kept that trend going. Wildcard has a wolf cutout that doubles as a bottle opener. The wolf embodies the nature of the tool, agile yet powerful. I wanted to pack as much functionality as possible into Wildcard. Many people misuse knives in place of other tools like screwdrivers and pry bars, harming themselves or breaking their knives. So I added these tools to the knife. I always wanted to challenge convention. Because of that, I spent the last six months trying to reinvent how this product is manufactured. Every manufacturer I talked with was hesitant to produce such an aggressive design. The solution I kept hearing was take this to China, but that isn't something that I'm willing to do. I want to create products that embody the American spirit of innovation, and my solution was to create a manufacturing facility in Maine. Now we control every aspect of production, from laser cutting to packaging and shipping, so we can manufacture the highest quality product while creating jobs in our community. Help us make Wildcard a reality and help us continue the American spirit of innovation. For more than 30 years, a Leatherman multi-tool has been the go-to solution for a lot of different problems in so many different places. On the trail, between here and over there. In a bass boat on Lake Manitonka. Here in the kitchen, right under there. And starting today, that includes some of the places we haven't been able to go. Gate 72, row 12, seat A. Introducing Tread, the first multi-tool that lets you be the one who gets it done, anywhere. Tread is 25 hardworking tools you wear on your wrist, including Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, hex and box wrenches, even a cutting hook and a bottle opener. So regardless of the job, the right tool is always at hand. Tread features 11 interchangeable links, each crafted from injection molded 17-4 stainless steel. There's an optional Swiss-made timepiece, water resistant to 200 meters with a shock resistant sapphire crystal. And it all comes with a choice of two rugged finishes. Tread, the go-to, go-anywhere tool from Leatherman, the original American multi-tool. We decided to design a multi-tool that combines all of our favorite features into an ultra-low profile tool that we call the Titanium Pocket Tool. This new tool is made from aerospace grade five titanium alloy. Despite its minimal name and appearance, this new pocket tool is extremely versatile and lets us do more and carry less.
Hello and welcome. Today at Clacker Knives we'll be learning about the Clax Lumberjack, the world's first hand tool that can make its own handle and become an axe without any added material. Every Clax comes with a ballistic nylon sheath. This sheath provides two carry options. The first is a belt loop on the back of the sheath. Velcro closure at the top allows for easy access to your Clax. Opening back here provides quick use of the carabiner so you can easily attach it to a strap or loop. As we take it out, the first thing to notice is the extra knife blade. This feature is useful as a hand tool for stripping branches and for scraping. When using the clax as a hand tool, grip the back end of the clax with your hand position behind the finger guard and your thumb on the top jimping. The knife edge has a 24 degree included angle which is even sharper than a typical kitchen knife. The primary blade is also very sharp. A typical axe head has a 50 to 60 degree beveled edge, but the clax is closer to 40 degrees to help counter the head's reduced weight when chopping. And when held downward, the axe blade can also be used as an ulu blade. The third blade on the clax is the cutting hook. It works well for cutting leather, rope, or paracord. In a pinch, it can also be used as a gut hook. It also functions as a bottle opener. Some unique features include a wrench set, a quarter inch hex bit driver, on the back you'll find an English or a metric ruler, a hammer head, and the lanyard hole. Let's head outside and I'll show you how to attach a handle to the clax using our patent pending clamping system. The prefabricated handle has several benefits over a field-made handle. It's easier to mount and unmount. It has a mounting pin that adds rigidity. And it requires less periodic tightening, making the clax more effective. The first thing you'll want to do is unseat the clamps. Push up and twist the back clamp so that it locks into place. Then unscrew the front clamp with the rotating knob until you can twist it into its locking position. I like to reseat the clamp back into a lock position before I mount the handle. Slide the clax down the slot and screw the front clamp into place by turning the knob. Make sure the clamps rest within the notches on the handle. This helps to ensure the head is securely fastened to the handle. You wouldn't want it coming loose when you were chopping. Hit the hammer head at the back of the clax on a wood surface. Then retighten the clamps to seat the axe head for a secure fit. No matter how tight you screw the clamps initially, you will need to periodically tighten the head as you use it. This isn't because the clamps are loosening, it's because the wood compresses. Every time you chop with the clax, the wood handle is going to compress. This happens simply because the wood is softer than metal. Before we finish up, here's some notes to keep in mind. To ensure the clax works well with our traditional handle, as well as a field-made handle, we've added some tolerance to this system, so a slight rattling sound is perfectly normal. Don't hit the back of the clax head with steel of any sort, only wooden tools. Thanks for watching Clax Lumberjack Basics. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to make a handle from a branch, so stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see our new products as they roll out. Have a great day. My name's Addison. This is your iPhone. And this is your iPhone with Task One. Task One is a multi-tool case for your iPhone 4, 4S, or 5. It houses 16 tools in an aircraft aluminum enclosure. Task One was designed to be a serious and functional tool, while at the same time being stylish and protective for your phone. Whether you're an engineer like me, or you're going camping out in the woods, Task One is the tool for you. I designed it to be super robust. I wanted to be able to use it in just about any situation. As an engineer, I really like carrying around multi-tools, 
but the problem was they're all so bulky that I would never put it in my pocket. Um, the small credit card size tools are just too flimsy for real use. So I wanted to design something that was robust, but at the same time didn't add much bulk to your phone. Task 1 is barely bigger than most iPhone cases. In fact, it's much smaller than a lot of iPhone cases out there. Yet it houses 16 hardened steel tools in its slim enclosure. While being really functional, it also protects your iPhone. The tools are housed in an enclosed aircraft aluminum housing, which is attached to your phone via two polycarbonate bands. That way, when you use Task 1, all of the force of the tools goes into the aluminum enclosure um, and doesn't damage your phone at all. The reason I use polycarbonate is because I didn't want it to affect your reception on your phone, and at the same time being, was lightweight and very strong. Task 1 has 16 tools. It has a 2.5 inch knife with serrations, a 1.8 inch saw blade, two flathead screwdrivers, one small, one large, a medium Phillips screwdriver, a bottle opener, pliers, wire cutters, wire strippers, six Allen wrenches, and a ruler. <laughs>